So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the first coat of base clear on this play field here. Um, a couple things I did was I took out some broken inserts that I ordered. I'm gonna go ahead and add them. I mean, I am, there are gonna be several layers of clear to, uh, before I get this thing completely flat. And that's where I wanna be before I start doing the artwork on this thing. So I'll just get, you know, I'll get the inserts in later this week. I'll do a short little uh, blip on actually installing them. But uh, this is what I got so far. Looking over everything, I'm pretty satisfied that I did almost everything I can do. One thing that's really important on this as well is you want to make sure that you go over everything with a, a fine gray scotch pad. You can find those at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever hardware store. These aren't the really rough ones. These are uh, for fine detail. These aren't the ones for removing paint. If you use those, you're probably gonna remove you know, stuff that you want in here. So what I'm also using this for is there's some dirt that was trapped in uh, the wood grains. I've already actually gone over this, by the way. So this is a very, you know, this doesn't, I, I've done more than this already. So anyway, but it's, it, it makes sure that there's no silicone left on this. I mean, if people have shot this play field before, it doesn't look like anybody's ever shot this, but I'm sure they have. If there's any silicone left on here, you're going to get, um, you're going to get uh, fish eye and you do not want fish eye. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm hoping crossing my fingers that that's not what happens this first time. So a couple things to remember is the first thing that we're going to do is put a tack coat on this. And that's just a really thin coat with the, uh, basically with the gun. What that'll do is it'll tell us if we have any areas with fish eye in them. If we do have any fish eye in them, we can kind of work that particular area out just a little bit, like going a little bit heavy, you know, just light, 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 light until the area around it fills in. So I'm hoping that we just don't have that problem in the first place, but it's happened before and it's, uh, it's bound to happen again. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put the, first we're gonna put the tack coat on. And again, the tack coat is you're not pressing the trigger down. You're not really getting a whole lot of paint on. You're just kind of swiping it across just to see if you have any fish eye, okay? And fish eye is caused by things like silicone and maybe dirt or whatever. Um, so we're gonna try to make sure that that thing is completely cleaned off. First thing we're gonna do before we actually spray anything is we're gonna use a tack cloth to gently wipe just in case there's anything that flies up. We don't really care about getting dust or dirt into this particular layer because we're gonna be sanding it down. The whole purpose of this is to level the play, uh, the play field before we do any uh, art. So it's probably gonna take more than one, uh, one try at this. But here's the first attempt. We're gonna need, uh, well, I'm, first of all, I'm using Wanda 8100 2K Clear. Essentially, this is four to one, okay? Four to one mix ratio, four to one of the actual clear, and then the one of the actual hardener, okay? And the easiest way to, uh, to, to get those numbers is if you're using a uh, mixing cup. Uh, so we're probably gonna put about eight ounces in, which if you look over here, it says about eight ounces. Eight ounces is gonna be just shy, three is just gonna be shy of eight ounces. So we're gonna use the number three on here. So what we do is we pour in from the actual clear, we're gonna pour it up to the first three and then uh, immediately afterwards, we're gonna throw the hardener in there up to the next three, okay? We got some time when we mix this. There's plenty of time. You don't have to rush on any of this. All right, the other thing we're gonna need is uh, accelerator. Basically what this is gonna do, it's a little colder out. Uh, I mean, it's not like 90 out or 70. It's not even 70 to be honest. Uh, so. Uh, Really what this helps is this helps to uh, the, cl uh, the clear to dry faster. Okay, so um, If you have these little droppers that I bought for a few bucks for like a hundred of them on Amazon It's about two drops of this per ounce. So we're doing eight ounces. We're gonna do 16 drops of the accelerator All right, you're gonna be happy you put that in there I typically I don't put that in during the summer because it's so hot out that it it, it dries so quickly uh, other things that you're gonna need for afterwards Lacquer thinner. This is uh, what we're going to use to clean out the gun at the end. Um, it is really hard to uh, clear, uh, clean out a gun with clear coat in it because it is clear and it's very hard to see anything. So um, I am going to go ahead and shut up now and let's go ahead and get this figured out.
So that actually worked out better than I thought. I ran out of 600 grit sandpaper, which is the safest way to go in, in my experience. Uh, and I actually went with some 320 because that's all I had. That was kind of risky, but it, it does dig deeper, but you have to be really careful that you don't go through the clear coat, especially on these old System 11s, where you're basically underneath the clear coat that you just put on, it's just paint. The only place that I went through was here. I don't really care because I'm going to take care of that anyways. Um, it, it, I'm surprised at how flat it actually turned out. Um, it was not not in that bad a shape um, for the most part. You can see little spots uh, like right around here. You can see where, you know, this is not level right here. So what I'm going to do is any place like that, especially the shooter lane, I'm going to go ahead and take a gray scratch pad or a gray scotch pad to make sure that I give it a little bit of tooth. I want to go over any area before I do another layer of clear coat, which I will do. I want to go over any area that may not have come out even because I want to go ahead and make sure this thing is super flat before I do any artwork because the artwork that I do, I don't want to accidentally burn through that as well. So you can see there's just a couple little spots here, definitely in these little areas where the orbital is not going to get to. I want to get those as well. So I got the um, inserts in that I was e that were either, either broken or missing. Uh, this one and there's a circle one over here. Um, the problem is, I mean, and this is totally normal. They're going to be a little bit taller than you need them to be. And instead of putting them in and trying to sand them like that, the best way that I know of doing it is to grab a piece of sandpaper. Uh, this is 100, I think 80 is usually best for everything, but 100 is what I got like in front of me right now. So what I usually do with these is this. And for the most part, this is gonna, you know, get it fairly even. You can see there's, it's not quite 100% even right yet, but it will be. Um, but it's getting there. I usually go in kind of a circular motion. If it's a little bit too flat, you can kind of seat it in there uh, as needed, but you want to get it about even. Wor uh, worst case scenario, if it's a little bit raised and you um, clear coat it, you can just, you know, in between coats when you're sanding, you can just flatten it that way too. I went ahead and sanded these individually uh, and got them up as flat as I could against the thing. I decided to do something stupid and use my uh, orbital to sand this since I already had a coat of clear on here, but it was stupid. I mean, ultimately I don't really care. I'm gonna restore this anyways. I already have scans uh, and these, uh, this halftone pattern right here, I hate that on system. Uh, usually it's, you know, it was, uh, later system 11s like the 11 C's. But I hate that. I'm just going to fade it anyways on here anyways. Fade it into gray. So gray and then fade it with the airbrush and stuff like that. Uh, these red rails are super simple. So, I mean, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. I made my life harder, but uh, it's all good. So anyway, next is the next coat of clear. So what I just did, I hit it with another coat of clear. Um, I'm just, again, I'm just trying to get all the bumps and stuff out of here. Eventually, this is going to be sanded as well. So this is far from a top coat, especially in these conditions that I'm spraying in right here. So I don't care if dust and all that crap gets in here before I put the next coat on, I'm gonna sand it anyways. So you can see with the certain light, there's still some bumps and some stuff that we need to work out on this. I did go ahead and sand everything at this point. Um, one thing I found on Amazon, these guys are great. These are 600 grit uh, sanding disc for an orbital. And you know, sometimes I, there's about, well, it says 20. I thought they were going to be 30, but it doesn't matter. Like if you buy a hundred of them and they all suck, then you're probably going to go pat through them a lot faster. But these are really, really good. And really they, they dig right in. So anyway, I went ahead and sanded everything on here. I did not sand lower parts like this. You can see that they're still shiny. So the best way to go about doing this is just to kind of try to get some light on this. I pretty much got this flat. There's a couple spots like right here, which I, I'm going to repair anyways before I do any more. This glob of paint right that was right here that was sticking up is nice and flat. 
Um, I do have a spot right here where I, when I glued this back in, this part of the uh, insert is down further. So you can see some gloss on that. So what I'm gonna do is sand that off in a second and all right it scuffed that up and then dropped some clear into there to make up the make up the space i've got another one of those little issues like right barely right there you can barely see it um other than that i've got a damaged spot up here that needs a little bit of work the pot bumpers uh are actually very flat i'm very surprised at that so i'm i'm happy about that i didn't burn off any uh, other artwork while i did this stupidly so um that's what we have this next part is relatively easy i've already mixed up the clear what i did i you know you can use a measuring spoon it's four of whatever to one of whatever so this is not the greatest system of work uh but i used a spoon i used four scoops of clear and then one scoop of hardener so what you're gonna need here is an eyedropper and again this is gonna be a short part of it because it's very easy. Just squeeze up some of that right there. I find some of the areas where I have dips, such as right here. Don't don't worry about leveling them out right now. You'll level, I, I kind of just doused it. <laughs> so don't worry too much about that. You'll take care of it when you actually sand this again. Um, make sure you don't have any bubbles. I have a bubble, big one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that up. There's really not uh, much of a science to it. This spot right here, you just have to remember where all the low spots were. And the low spot here, somewhere over here. These are gonna sand off really nicely. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then just run over it one more time and it should be flat. I think that's it. I'd say everything is pretty well ironed out at this point. I did make a, I did cut through a couple points and it makes me sad, but again, I think about it and it really shouldn't make me sad because most of the stuff I'm going to paint it over anyways. Here's one of the big spots right here. Again, this is such an easy spot to correct, but I am, I think it's lame. Uh, I, everything else is nice and level as far as I can tell. In fact, let's take the true test here and look down. I don't see anything that sticks up there. I do see a little bit of a shiny spot there, but next stop, we will start restoring the artwork.